we know, coming from where we come from in our environments, that I'm lying, Uncle Sam. I'm lying. Man. If we get in I'm trouble, lying. like we get pressed down, the nigga who brings the sneak around or that brings a nigga that ain't really fit to be around, when we bring them around, it falls on us. Okay. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. It crashes. The plane mm -hmm. crashes. This nigga get locked up. He talking about snitching. How much of that fell on you? Or how much do you did he try to like? Oh, the friends uh, try like, yo, you was around this nigga. Or you brought this yeah, nigga yeah. around. Yeah, I mean, I've I've had those moments. I remember one day Chewy called me yelling and cursing because <laughs> remember I got Bobby to do stupid. Over yeah, the phone. yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I laugh at that shit. Nobody, because at the end of the day, nobody's really like it's your responsibility for this human. And just because I put niggas around to make music money, and I didn't put, there's certain relationships that I initiated, but a lot of it was prior. Like all of the shits around all of the treyways and all that, that's before I get there. Hmm. He's already cemented into the whole treyway shit. Um, a lot of that, you can look at it and go and, and just be like, um, they don't blame anybody. I think they started to blame each other internally, and that's what started to make a lot of the set trip and shit happen. A lot of their relationships to burn down, and a lot of the niggas. Because Takashi started out being a lot more welcoming of niggas at the beginning, mm. and then he started to curve niggas as he started to get more and more bread. But I feel like even so, with it was the like at the beginning. I say that there's two hundred niggas around, and then as months go, it's 150, 120, 100, 80, 60, 50. I mean, but you got to do that when you get more money. It's smart. A is in B. I'm just telling you what was happening. So there are niggas that were around that might have had to jump out the window and beat up a security guard one day. There's a nigga that might have, yo, I'm about to go slap this nigga. What? And they jumped out the window. So there's niggas that are doing shit as courtesy of him. And they're like, nigga, like, I need something for it. And then he starts curving niggas and it just keeps going downhill. That's when he started to turn like a fucked up person. The implode of Treyway is all Takashi fault. You See, I would like to think that if you, like, because you said before he even started doing a rapping thing, he was going viral for doing corny stuff, but just trolling. Mm -hmm. So if you encourage the trolling, it's only going to get bigger. So now you got to take responsibility for when it comes to a point of no return because you encouraged it to that point. Yeah, niggas weren't mad at the trolling, wasn't mad at the beef that came. They started to get mad at him being a disloyal person to them. The trolling wasn't the issue. These niggas already, you know, shout out to all the Treyways and all them guys. Them niggas is on action time. Them niggas is, none of them niggas is play around. None of them niggas is made up characters. Them niggas is ready for whatever energy come. They ready to run at it all the time. Shout out to all the guys that was there. Shout out Billy Otto, man. Mm -hmm. Like, these are the guys. Harv, Shoddy, Roe Murder. These niggas so are. So where do you think it went wrong then? It, because Takashi. For what? What though? He just started being a fucked up nigga and stopped giving. Out of nowhere. Dude. Yeah. I've seen it happen. I know the starting point that it happened and everything. It's very, it's, it's, we spoke about it in documentaries. There's documentaries about this. Which, wait, what was the starting point? The starting point was when Takashi didn't want to pay certain people certain shit, and then he put Shadi in a bad position that made Shadi have to stand up for his wants, which then made Shadi look like the adversary that was going against the gang. Which in theory he partially was, but it wasn't gang business; it was music business. business. But it should have been dealt with more like nigga, these are your dogs. And I think Shadi might have played those things a little off, might have, but realistically. Takashi's who started the 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 downfall of the of the problems. Wow. And then it just caused splits and then this big homie, this big homie don't like each other. Then I'm with him, I'm with him, I'm with him, I'm with him, and then all of that happens and it just keeps going down. What everybody has the my biggest frustration with the whole shit is people that weren't there don't know. And then there's a lot of people that believe that there's this rounded up piece of internet information that they've acquired and they go, I know what happened. I just be like, Y'all niggas don't understand what happened, and this is what it is, man. Free Shoddy, free Roe Murder, free Harv, free Mel Murder, you know? Uh, shit, man. You was heavily involved in a friend of Bobby's murder. Bobby, yeah. yeah you Bobby was Mark. involved in the this 11-month span of 6-9. Uh, seeing how... Seeing the back end of both of those situations, what do you think? How The, how, the, the GS9 <laughs> shit is way... But not even just the GS9 shit is way different. But not GS9 even just shit is a movie that I still to this day don't understand why. I not even the court stuff, movie. right? Let's say like the love that Bobby got when he got out for being him being real. He the realest nigga, right? All of them. But there's not a there's not 
And I, I just, I got to use these yeah, moments to do it. Fun. Nobody on the nine indictments snitched on each other. Right. The GS9 indictment. I say Bobby because he was the face of it. Fair. And he, and he, and he took, he, 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 he took more years to get ro Rowdy. To help Rowdy. But just while these platforms are there, you got to still, there's dogs that's locked and never come outside. So shout out to the nine, shout out to everybody in there. There's niggas that's still in there now that is on pace to never get out. They got life in change. Mm. But there's nobody on GS9 indictment that spoke. Everybody stood tall. So, so okay, with that being said, Which seeing- a rare Right. So seeing the love or the lack thereof mm -hmm. that Bobby got from the streets, even Rowdy, mm -hmm. Rowdy, compared to what happened when 6 9 got out. Just the difference in the career path. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? How do you oh, like, when it's, you think it's about? Totally that? different. I, I don't even I don't even compare it. Rowdy's love in the street and Chewy love in the street is immense. That's the street. But they the music not, industry tried to make it a street thing all the time. I watch it, but that's the street. Rowdy could go anywhere in the country. No one's gonna do nothing to Rowdy. Rowdy is loved in the streets. Rowdy is. They look at him like nigga. You're a monster. You're one of the guys. I love Rowdy for it. Let it. Let Rowdy deserve all the flowers he gets. That's Rowdy. But right? why we don't that see That happens it. with Bobby. What happens with Takashi and Danny, by that point he's Danny coming home now. Danny was not spoken about or embraced by the streets. Right. Danny was embraced by the masses. There are way more masses of people than there are street niggas. Street niggas is a very small group of men who said, I am going to abide by these rules that I'm going to play by because I want to live under the laws of the streets. There is an astronomical dot in the water of how many street niggas there are in comparison to the rest of the country. But I don't understand that when it comes to this hip-hop thing because, again, hip-hop heads try their best to make it a street thing. So if, if, if I see, <clears throat> if we champion, there's no snitching thing, mm -hmm. right? And we have, shit, one of the only people in my existence that I could think of Somebody that held it down yeah. at the highest level yeah. of what we deem man time in the in the industry, Bobby Smurda, Roddy Rebel. Yeah. We have them right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. And I see their career after prison yeah. compared to 6 9 career after prison. It don't make sense to me. Yeah, but that's you're talking, you're mixing the the, the problem where you're going wrong is Chewy and Rowdy's respect is at a thousand. No one's ever taken but that ain't away from money their respect. in their pocket. That's a different, that's a different conversation. His whole career, which I don't like to compare them because it's two diff totally different worlds. The thing with him is that he came home to an astronomically large budget to where the label said, I know how to make this work. When he was inside, they were spending marketing dollars that was swaying it. Remember when they kept going, yo, if someone fucked your girl and kidnapped you, mm -hmm. what would you have done? That's marketing. Let me ask you a direct question, right? How many times did 6 9 talk when he was in jail? Shit, I don't, I don't remember. Zero. I don't remember at all, yeah. He said not one word while in jail. When he was in jail, how many times did you see articles with his name on it? A lot. 10,000. Mm -hmm. You know how this internet works. Who ends up on the internet for free? Nobody. Mm. So that means that there is an astronomical amount of marketing dollars that came that was spent to position him to be spoken about. And if they're paying for it, are they not creating the narrative? Mm. So they created a narrative that allowed him to connect to the normal human being. If they fucked your girl and they kidnapped you, what would you do? And my nigga, let's just go about it. Because niggas said that they're not guilty. So I stand by it. I understand these street rules very delicately. If niggas pleaded guilty, it's a different thing. But the niggas said that they didn't do it. So the niggas that were allegedly a part of the kidnapping is two niggas. And the nigga that allegedly fucked his girl, who also said he didn't do it, that's one nigga. That is three niggas. Takashi put 13 people in jail, 14 people in jail. What about the other 10? Mm. Does, do, does he go down because he allegedly fucked your girl? Does he go down because he was cool with the niggas that did it? Like, that's why I look at it. And that's why when I don't listen to civilians talk about street shit, I ignore them because they don't understand. And I advise people to be civilians. There's nothing cool about the street. I promise you. There's nothing cool about being a tough nigga. There's nothing cool about being gang. There's no value in it. But civilians had way too much conversation. And this is why I hated the internet. This is part of why I started getting lower and lower because the internet allows idiots to speak. Mm -hmm. Civilians should literally go, hey, this is a gang issue. I'm not in a gang. I'm not gonna comment. Like I, if they literally made a new law 
about, I'm going to blow this out of proportion, about tampons. I won't have an opinion. I don't have a vagina. Mm. It sounds insane, right? I don't want to talk about what you should do with a woman's body. It's a woman's body. Mm -hmm. Civilians should go, I don't want to talk about what happens with gang because I'm a civilian. If someone robbed me and slapped me today, I would tell the police. Mm. They're civilians. Let them be civilians. My biggest frustration with the internet is that millions of civilians had opinions, and I accredit that to one of the best digital campaigns I have ever seen to sway the world from going six nines the worst nigga in the world to you gotta give him a check. You gotta you gotta understand that was one of the best digital marketing campaigns I have ever seen to take a nigga that violated every single nigga that risked his life for him and made him look like he was the victim and taken advantage of when he was the nigga telling niggas suck his dick mm -hmm. and no one was telling him that. See, I, you get that's marketing. That's a fact, and I don't know. I was talking to Wayno about this. I'm all for the shout out to Wayno, man. I love Wayno. I'm all for the influence of the people that come after us, right? I never met Six Nine or Bobby Smurda, mm -hmm. and that made me feel away because I just feel like, bro, what does that tell the the person that not even if it's no gang shit, but what does that tell the young person that want to do it the right way? It's like, bro, Bobby really did it the right way. He, Bobby he, didn't do it the right way. Bobby not, would tell you he did it. Not Bobby would tell shit. you he did it the wrong way. I'm not talking about like street shit. I'm just saying like being. But I'm being real because Chewy will literally go, I did it the wrong way. Kids stay out of trouble. Don't do gang. For don't sure. Think of nothing. 100%. He I'm just saying on character though. though. I'm saying like far as character, not street shit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking the the, the, the the street shit out of it. Okay. I'm saying when it came to, to character, right? Because we can't try. It's like we tried to. We try to separate it when it's convenient. No, because in hip hop, we don't separate it. But now. When we talking about Bobby, like we want to separate it because it's, it's a uh, we saying like he'll say he did it the wrong way. I get that, I get that, but nah. When we talking about character, forget snitching, not snitching, forget all that, right? Yeah. He was a man of integrity, a thousand percent, right? We as men walk around and we complain about men who don't have integrity. Yeah, but the person, the persons who did have it, they should be on top. That's how I look at it. Like I, we should I, be behind these guys. I agree, and and I think that, but I think that the streets are behind them. It, that doesn't make the music connect with the people. And it still is the streets. There's all of this. No street niggas is talking bad about none of the nine. For sure. No street niggas is talking bad about Shoddy Harv. None of them. The streets still love these niggas. But that is a very small percentage. The problem with rap is that they try to push the snow snitching thing. Snow snitching is a very terrible message to send. No snitching is for the streets, hmm. not for a genre of music. But we try to incorporate the streets it's and music because what all the happens time. is that too much street niggas they start verbalizing their life, and then people uh, sexy it up and act like this is the rules of the culture. No snitching is not a rule of rap culture. Mm. No snitching is the rule of gang life and street life, and that's where it should stay. Mm. That's it. I'm all for the street shit that goes on when they're insulated in the street because everyone is grown and independently operates. When the shit spills over and a random kid gets hit, terrible. When the shit spills over and then a, a mother gets robbed, that's fucking terrible. They're not a part of the street. Let people be civilians. But if you're streets and y'all want to run loose and shoot at this nigga and shoot this nigga and this gang nigga dies and this gang nigga dies, that's what y'all independently chose to do. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That's street shit. I just don't like that too many that so many civilians have so many opinions on things that were not the streets, but that's the downfall of the internet. It allows if I have an account, I have an opinion. Because I've said so much polar extremes, it's probably gonna be a hundred thousand comments of people going, let me tell you about what Punch is saying. It's gonna happen. Mm. You get what I mean? So to just make my point straight up and clear as day. The no snitching street shit is a terrible way to live, but it is independent only of the street. And rap is not the street. Rap is a genre. And it is a genre of music and it is a culture. Hip hop is the culture. Hip hop culture is not no snitching and it shouldn't be. Because mm. if something goes wrong with niggas, go tell the police. I tell niggas, go talk to the police if you are a civilian. Mm. That's your... That's your Human American right. Go talk to the police. But if you are outside and you go, I'm picking up a bandana or I'm repping my block and I'm doing all of these shits to the max and you are that, then stand tall. Because mm. no one forced you into this. We're not like L.A. where you're born into it. We're not. 
Not every Crip and blood nigga, their son is blood. You go to Cali, them niggas is like, oh, that's big, that's OG, that's tiny, and that's baby. This is their bloodline. That's how they That's how they deal with it. Out here, it's not like that. Hmm. Your pops could be a whole gang member, and you could be a civilian. You get what I'm saying? So all of these things is just bad, but I've lost so many friends to this. It made me get low. I just hate it. Outside of... Bro, I don't even I don't know every single nigga on a GS9 indictment, but they're all Brooklyn niggas. They all from Flatbush. I wish everybody get to come home. Cause I promise you, niggas probably regret some of the shit they did. Nigga, they've lost years, my nigga. They've been in jail since 2014. They've been in jail for 10 years, not 10 jail years. 10 total years. That's a decade. Mm. They've lost a decade of their life in jail. Not lit. The Treyways, you think Shoddy wanna be in jail for 15 years? I speak to Shoddy. That's my man. You think Shotty want to be in there? But he going to stand tall because they made these decisions. But when people be playing around and acting like they want to go and dibble dabble and play in the street, nigga, stay out of the way. Mm. I got niggas that's in jail that want to come home every day, man. Shout out some of the guys, man. I'll say, shout out, yo, free, man, the guys, my, my, yo, man, GS9G don't want to free this guy, get his shit out. Sh shout out Scrap1090, shout out to Jeezy Moolah. Get my friends out. Like, this shit is crazy. These niggas are in jail for, it's bad. So that 6 9 shit blows up. 